Can you play my position yeah, just for a minute till I get off the phone? Are you trying to be on the phone? I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in. Uh, I'll come okay. in. You can play. Right. I'll come in. I'll let you know. I'm going to get you. Okay. I'll get you one of y'all. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I had a lot of support when I came home, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. it wasn't hard to get a job. Matter of fact, um, people, like I said, people in the nation, the people where I worked at, they own their home companies. So mm-hmm. um, a couple people in the nation had hired me when I first came home. So mm-hmm. I was working with them, you know? Right. And then yeah. uh, I had a other... Um, I had other resources, you know, um, out here. People help you, you know. People, if you want to work, you can find a job, you know. And so right. I'm never too proud to, to work. I'm a, if 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 our truck broke down, I'm gonna go get a job. I don't. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to survive, you know. But legally, you know. Right. Yeah, um, and we don't believe it. Huh? I'm I'm sorry, continue? No, I just say we don't believe in a mystery God that we can just sit on our ass and do nothing and something going to happen. Right. You got to work for it, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to work. That's reality. Right. Yeah. And what what does your housing situation look like since you were released? Like, Or what does what? it look like right now? Your housing situation, like are you – do you live? Um, you, I know you said you have a wife, so I'm assuming you live with your wife. Um, do you guys live in like an apartment in a in a house? Um, okay, we have an apartment, right? Mhm. We have a really nice apartment, but we're going to get a house in about a year because uh, both our credits are really good, so we're going to get a house. Mhm. Yeah, that's and, the next um, move. What, uh, were you kind of moved? Did you have to move a lot after? Like, was housing difficult for you after being released? Like, finding uh, or staying in housing? No, it wasn't difficult. It could have been difficult. It could have been difficult. But, uh, you know, my little cousin and stuff, like, some of my family members told me I can come stay with them at first. And um, I really didn't stay there, but I stayed there just to get a shower, lay down for a couple of hours, and I'd be back working, you know. But I, mm-hmm. I would wake up around 4 in the morning before they would wake up because I didn't want to interfere with uh, family life because they have, you know, they have family going on, you know. Right, right, right. By the time they would um, wake up, I'd be gone. Um, so now I, I know it's almost, we have about like 10 more minutes before, before the 90 minutes is up. So, um, I just want to talk quickly about what your physical and mental health has been like since you've been, um, since you've been incarcerated. Do you feel like, could you describe the state of your physical you health? Since I've been home? You talking about since I've been home? Yeah, since you've been home, yeah. Well, you know, my physical health has been good. And, uh, my mental my mental stability has been good. Probably like, you know, from like a one to ten, I would say like a seven, you know. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. do you feel like your physical and mental health improved since being incarcerated or do you think it got worse since being incarcerated? No, it's gotten better. It's gotten better because you I mean you gotta get back to living you got to get back to the norms of life. Huh? Skill? Oh, no, I'm going to play right here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh. Go ahead. I'll get, I'll get next. I'll get next. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm at the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we play basketball. And that's so nice. Um, yeah. And then. What was I going to ask? I guess the last thing I'll ask is about your, like, social network. So who are three people that you can count on or depend on the most? You don't have to give me their names, but just, like, okay. what's their, what their relationship uh, to you like? Yeah, it would, be, it would be my wife. It would be my, my big brother, the one I told you that, um, that had life. Mm-hmm. 
he lives up north and he he has his own business as well. Mm-hmm. And and uh and it will be my friend that works at probation. Okay. Um, yeah, and is your wife a is your wife a Muslim? She's a Muslim. Yep. Mhm. Does she Absolutely. identify with the nation too? Yep, she does. Uh huh. Um, yep. And yep. how would you say that being incarcerated has affected your relationships with people? Oh man, uh, you uh, you talking about out here? Yeah. Out here? Well, yeah. um. Well, one of the things that I learned since I've been out here, I'm too trusting with people out here because people out here are liars and uh, thieves, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, I try to work with people, and I, I've been robbed, not literally robbed, but taken advantage okay. of, my, you know? Right, right, right. Because you can't trust right. people. People are they're greedy dogs out here for some reason. I don't know. So I had mm-hmm. to learn that. Not to be too trusting with my money and stuff, no. Mhm, mhm. And yeah, I lost my wallet about thirty days ago. Well, not thirty days ago, about forty days ago, and had eight thousand dollars in it. Oh man! Still haven't found my wallet, you know. Oh man! So I had to so let that go. Let that go. <laughs> oh. Let it go. Um, you know. Well. So the last part of the interview is actually like it's more of a survey. Um, it should only really take like 15 minutes, but I know that you're at the park trying to play some ball, which I appreciate on Saturday. <laughs> so do you have do you have any time like tomorrow maybe to just do like a 15 minute quick call just to ask you these questions? Yeah, you can come. Questions? Hey, what's a good time for you, like? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, let's see, like. What's a good time for you? Like, Tomorrow I'm pretty free. A good time for me would be like about, mm, like one o'clock. One o'clock, let me look, let me look. One because, o'clock works perfect, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to watch the Super Bowl tomorrow. So. Oh, shoot, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. I, I'm thinking yep. tomorrow, I'm sorry, I'm thinking tomorrow is Monday. Um. Oh yeah, no, I can't. Uh, yeah, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. No, okay, let's do, do. Is any what what time works for you on Monday, if anything? Um, I know Monday? you're working. Yeah. Oh uh, Monday. Let's see. Okay, so Monday. Let's do eleven thirty Monday. Eleven thirty Monday. Okay, I can do eleven thirty. It should only take fifteen minutes. It should, it's pretty quick. Um, That'll work for me. Okay, eleven thirty Monday. Work. Thank you. Okay. And then let me, before I get you off the phone, let me just pay you um, for the interview. Um, do you have a cash app by any chance? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, do you prefer another way of paying, like Zelle or Venmo or anything? The only thing I have is cash app. Uh, okay, that works. that's perfect. I have mine open. What? Let me actually see if I can search for you. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay, so what is it that you do, like, you know, what is it that you do for economics, like? For, oh, is there a program? Like, do you have any programs? Um, do you have any programs lined up where where we can do something together and um, help people or whatever? I mean, not at the moment, but that is definitely my goal. Um, so I'm – Hopefully, hopefully, with God's grace, we'll graduate in like a year, a year and a half. Um, I'll be done with my dissertation, and then I'll graduate. And, I mean, I was actually just talking to my brother about it yesterday and this morning. Like, I really want to get involved. So, like, like, what you were saying earlier really resonated with me about, like, everything is, like, an act of worship. So, for me, like, my research is an act of worship. Yes, yes. And it's it's like I'm very passionate about it and but I also want to be more involved on the ground and so I don't know what that looks like for me yet I mean I kind of want to go into prisons and teach maybe offer classes help out like you know I want yeah to, like, because provide oh, the reason why I asked you that right the reason why I asked you that is because I want to be able to fulfill my purpose you know 
Mm-hmm. And I think I think my 